God a great round of applause. Give God a round of applause. God is good all the time and all the time. Amen. I'm in a quick technical difficulty here, but you know, let's give another, God another round of applause. Amen. So I want us real quick to enter into the, into the spirit of worship, because right now we're going to enter the most amazing worship of all, where the, where the heavens join us, where purgatory join us, where we all join as one church to glorify God in the spiritual and in our physical forms. Amen? Amen. So um, I want us to, if you guys are seated, I want you to stand up. I want us to, to enter into a special moment with God right now, a little bit, get a little bit intimate with him, and tell him that we're here to worship. But how many of you came tonight? to worship God. Raise your hand. All right, so the first step is raising your hands. That's good. Now we, the next step, we got to stand up. We're going to stand up and we're going to lift up both our hands and we're going to worship God together. Amen? So we're going to tell God that he's amazing. We're going to tell God that we're here to worship him. So I want, before we even start, I want us to learn this song. It's a very simple song. It's a, it's a, it's a song where we tell the Lord why we're here, right? So we're going to say, I want you to repeat after me. Here I am to worship. Thank you to this side, but I don't hear this side. I know it's not many of us, but I know, I, I know that you guys yell loud enough, the Lord can hear you, all right? Here I am to worship. There we go. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You got that? Let's try that again. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. I think we could practice that part together? Right? Let me get a little bit of a nod, a yes nod. Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I tell you, we can hear the guitar now. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. That was good, that was good. And we're going to sing the other part. We're going to want you to repeat after me and say, you're all together lovely. You're all together worthy. All together wonderful. Full to me. All right? Very easy. So we're going to see that. You're all together lovely. All together worthy. All together Put that all together now. Here I am. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. All right, good job. So right now we're going to take that step forward. We're going to lift our hands up high, right? We're going to close our eyes and we're going to block out each person that's next to us. And are we going to think about God who's within us? God who's here? God who deserves your worship? God who deserves more of your attention than anybody who's here right now? And we're going to give him the worship that he deserves? We're going to just enter a little bit intimate, a little intimate moment with God. And we're going to say, here I am to worship. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow.
Raise those hands up high. Raise those hands up high and sing this with me. And here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. All together worthy. All together. voices sing here I am and here I am to worship bow down here I am to bow down here I am to say that you're my God you're all together lovely all together sing it in lovely worthy all together all together wonderful all together Last time here I am, and here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together. He's got a strong round of applause right now. Give God a round of applause. Amen. Jesus. God is good. God is good. And all the time. Amen. So for those who don't know that, that saying, when I say God is good, I would like if you guys just repeat all the time. If you believe it, God is good. Let's say a little stronger. God is good. And when I say all the time, all you got to do is repeat, God is good. So all the time, all the time, amen, amen, amen. So if you believe God is good, I'm going to ask you to take a seat, take a seat, take a quick seat. And I'm going to, we're going to, we're going to go through a little bit, we're going to go through a little bit the songs that um, we have prepared for today, for today's mass. So the first song we're going to sing is very, very simple. You guys don't have to stand up. You guys don't have to clap right now. Later on, I'm going to need you to clap. I'm going to need you to sing along with me. But I'm going to need you to practice. We're going to practice right now, okay? So it's like choir practice. Right now, you guys are the choir. And we're going to sing to the heavens. Amen? God is good? Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? God is good? And all the time? Amen, amen, amen. So we're going to, I want you to repeat after me. Open the eyes. What happened there? Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. I, I want to see you. How many of you want to see God? Raise your hand. So let's shout it out with all our strength. Amen. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. I, I want you to touch yourself. I want to see you. Amen, amen. It's very simple. I'm just going to ask you to learn the chords. We're going to try that one more time. We're going to do that. We're going to do a run through. I'm going to sing it once. And then after, you guys are going to join with me, okay? Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the I want to see you. Now you can help me out. You're going to say, open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you. We're going to try that again. Very strong voice. Come on, everybody. Open the eyes of my heart. Good job, good job. Give yourself a round of applause. You guys are awesome. Amen. 
So while we still have some time, we're going to go to the next song. Um, we're going to practice our offertory song, which is called I Give Myself Away. Amen? How many of you want to be used by the Lord? Raise your hand. Every party, every, at every moment of your life, everybody wants to be used by God, right? So we're going to sing this prayer, and we're going to tell the Lord to use us. Amen? So I want you to repeat after me. I give myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. Let's try that again. I give myself away. I give myself away. One more time. I give myself away. So you can use me. Very easy, right? Very simple. So we're going to try that together. I'm going to sing it once. I'm going to let you hear, it, hear me sing it, and then you guys are going to come right after, okay? Amen. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. Let me hear you sing it. I give myself away. I give myself away, give myself away, so you, so you can use me. One more time, give myself away. I give myself away, so you can use me. All right, give yourself a round of applause, another round of applause. You guys are awesome. All right, so for this next song, it's also another simple song. This is going to be our communion song. How many of you believe that Jesus is beautiful? How many of you believe his name is beautiful? So we're going to sing. Let's pull this up here. We're just going to learn the chorus. The chorus um, just says, what a beautiful name it is. Say that with me. What a beautiful name it is. What happened? You guys got tired of worshiping God? So easy? You know we're going to do this 24-7 in heaven, right? It's going to be eternity just worshiping God. This is just exercise what we're doing here right now, amen? So I want you to repeat after me. What a beautiful name it is. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Let's try that again. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus, Christ, my King. One more time. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. And then we switch it up throughout the course. The course has changed and we'll say, what a wonderful name it is. Say that with me. What a wonderful name it is. I want you to say, what a powerful name it is. Say that. What a powerful name it is. Amen? So we're going to practice what a beautiful name together, okay? I got you. You're going to help me out? You're not going to leave me by myself, right? No, 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 right? So let's practice now. I'm a horrible teacher, by the way. <laughs> what a beautiful name it is Say that What a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus Christ My King What a beautiful name it is But nothing can stand to this What a beautiful name Let's try that again. What a beautiful, what a beautiful name it is. Say that. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. 
give God another round of applause. Don't get tired of giving him a round of applause. Amen. And so don't forget those songs. They're going to sing with me when we start the Mass. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. We'll start very shortly. Okay, so a real special announcement before we start. In some of the pews and where, where you have the, miss, the little missalettes, there's a little sheet, which is the song sheet for today. So if you see it, if it's close to you, pull it and sing along with me. Don't be, don't be scared, okay? Brothers and sisters, please stand. Our ancient song is Open the Eyes of My Heart. Open the Eyes of My Heart.
the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand they may worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways, and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage, O, oh, that you would run the heavens and come down, with the mountains quaking before you. While you were wrought awesome deeds we could hope not for, such as they had not heard of from the old. No ear has, ever, has ever heard, no eye ever seen any God but you, doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we may, that we were mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people, all our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves, and our guilt carries us like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you are the porter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The responsorial psalm is, Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Lord, Lord make, make us, us turn, turn to you. you. Let, Let us see your face and we shall be saved. saved. 
O shepherd of Israel, hearken from your throne upon the Sherubim, shine forth, rose your power, and come to save us. Lord, Lord make, make us, us turn, turn to you. you. Let, Let us see your face, and, and we, we shall, shall be saved. saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see, take care of this vine and protect what you, your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, make, make us, us turn, turn to you. Let, Let us see your face, and we, and we shall, shall be saved. saved. May your hope be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. Lord, make, make us, us turn to you. Let, Let us see your face, and we, we shall be saved. saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony of Christ was confirmed among, among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Brothers and sisters, please rise. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful. Be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeepers to be on the watch. Watch, therefore. You do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening or at midnight, or at the cock crow or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. But I say to you all, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ. Can adjust this so our friends from home can can watch a little bit too from this perspective. And I say this perspective because I would like to introduce a couple friends of mine. I would like to ask Fernando and Josh to please stand. Yeah? So uh, for those who know, we have an eighth grade 
teacher, Mr. Josh Rosa, is here. You can hear him on the cajon hitting the percussion. And his good friend, Fernando Torres, who's also a friend, and they're part of a band called Agnew State Ministries. And of course, our eminent Dave Lance, always with them, who can do anything with anybody on the piano. So uh, I would like to just give a warm Holy Cross welcome to our guest musicians tonight. Now, actually, I need their help uh, for this homily on a couple things. First, I would just like to ask Fernando to help me remind us that we are blessed. That we are blessed, you know? And, and I think sometimes people come to church and they forget they're blessed, Fernando. I don't, I don't know. I mean, you know, sometimes people come with that heavy face. Oh, I got to go to church. You know, if I don't, my wife's going to yell at me, you know? I got to go to church. Mom's dragging me to church. I got to go to church. Oh, man, you know, like, I'll feel guilty. I got to show face, you know. I'm, I'm carrying too many burdens. Life is too tough. COVID is killing me. And I just, I'm feeling pretty down, right? And so that's how a lot of people walk into church sometimes. Am I right or am I wrong? I mean, sometimes, sometimes we're walking in and we're not feeling very blessed. Amen? Amen. All right, all right, all right. But we come here, do we come here to become sad and lonely and miserable and depressed? I mean, for real? We come here to be blessed, amen? Do you guys want to be blessed? All right, all right. So this Mass is going to be a little different, all right? All right, everybody at home, after you watch this, you may want to come next week. All right, okay. So, okay. It's going to be a little different because you know what? I, I want to tell you something. On my, on my days off, when I have a, my, my Sabbath, I got to take my Sabbath on Thursday because I work on Sunday, right? For the Lord, but I work for the Lord, all right? So you guys should rest on Sunday, okay, if you can. But uh, So I take a Sabbath, and when I have a chance to take my rest, I like to rest in the Lord. Now, it said, it said don't fall asleep and watch, but I'm going to tell you how many times I've fallen asleep in the chapel. I'm going to tell you that. i got to admit that, right? Because <laughs> we need also to rest on the Lord's day. But one way I want to rejuvenate my spirit, because sometimes my spirit gets a little, you know, needs rejuvenation. You ever feel like that? Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, all right, okay, yes, yes, we got one over there who's alive, right? Francis, right? Okay, okay. Yes, all right. Thank you, Francis. Yes, all right. So when, when we need some rejuvenation, everybody finds their way to do it. Now, hopefully you find a healthy way, because there's a lot of unhealthy ways that makes you feel like you're going to rejuvenate. We don't want to think about those, right? I want to teach you what, help, what works for me, all right? This works for me, all right? But you got you to gotta kind of... Get rid of fear, all right? You got to kind of get rid of, like, embarrassment. You got to kind of get rid of those walls that kind of keep us trapped in our little selves, all right? All right? So we're going to try to do that. Now, one of the things that works for me, I don't know about you, is to praise God, all right? We, we got to praise the Lord. Catholic people, you got to praise the Lord, all right? Come on. I'm telling you. Why is it that our Protestant brothers and sisters have the monopoly on praising the Lord. I don't think so. I think Catholics are supposed to praise the Lord too. Amen? Amen. Well, all right, all right. Maybe, maybe, maybe before I ask that question, I should put it, the mirror up and say, what have I done lately to teach my people to praise? All right? What have I done in my priesthood to teach people how to really praise the Lord? Now, I grew up with a mom. I grew up with a mom. She was born in the old days. I'm not going to say what year. She was born in the old days. You know, I love the Catholic Church. But her church that she grew up in was the Latin Mass, and it was like really rigid, and they had their way of doing it. And that has a beauty, don't get me wrong. I, I actually like the, the Latin Mass. And by the way, I love silent prayer. I love adoration. I do that a lot. I love that. That, that rejuvenates me. But, but, we also know our hearts are crying out. We carry around too much stuff. We're holding on to too many burdens. We are weighed down, especially this year. I don't know about you, but I think when 2021 hits, I'm looking forward. I'm not looking back. I don't know about you. All right. Amen. All right. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Jesus. Come on now. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. No. No, it's too much. Come on, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right. All right. Yep. 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 I know, I know we're all feeling it, right? And so what I do when I need to kind of get my spirits, sometimes I put on some praise and worship, right? 
And I just, I just let, that, I let that music come on in, and it just kind of starts sinking in. It starts sinking. And then something interesting happened. It doesn't just come on in. It starts coming out. It starts coming out, and I start to praise. And I had to learn how to do that. I, I wasn't taught how to do it. But my mom, whenever anything would happen, she would say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, right? And she's a white girl, all right? Okay? All right, you guys are Hispanic or black, you know, a couple other people who are white maybe. But she knew how to praise the Lord. I got to hand it to her. That woman knew how to praise. And she was not afraid to praise God in front of everybody. When we were kids, like, all right, mom, that's enough. Come on, no. She was like, no, we praise the Lord. We praise the Lord in this house, all right? So that she taught us how to praise the Lord, all right? And it took her a little bit because she had to go to kind of have the Holy Spirit wake her up too a little bit, even though she loved Jesus. So we're going to try to do that in this church tonight. Amen? All right, so let's stand up for a second. All right, yeah, you got to change your posture sometimes, all right? Now, to warm you up a little bit, warm you up a little bit, let's just, let's just stretch you just a little bit, just a little bit, yeah. See, oh, now we have our hands up. Guess, guess who we can praise with our hands up, see? Yeah, there's somebody else with his hands up. That's Jesus, all right, because we're going to learn how to pray and sing with our hands, because that's part of it. God wants us to praise God with your whole body. Glorify God with your body. So that's good. That's good. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll put him down for one second. Okay. All right. It's good. So you guys already are praising the Lord. You're praising God with your body. Because if we're going to really love him with our whole heart, we can't be like, and also with you. And also with you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, mercy. Christ have mercy. Yeah. Amen. All right, let's get out of here. All right. Okay. No, no. That is not praising the Lord. All right. So I don't want you walking out of church like that tonight. Okay. All right. So back to where we left off. Fernando is a friend who has a gift for praise. He's been given this gift. And if we don't let the gifts of God flourish, right, woe to me if I don't let the gifts of God flourish in my house, right? This is our house, right? So we're going to let the gift of God flourish. So now Fernando's going to teach us a little simple song to help us know how we should be blessed when we come to church. And then we're going to work on another little one. But we'll start off, let's, let's let him know how it works, Fernando. Amen. Can you help me out? Of course, of course. So I'm going to tell you a quick story, and I'm going to, then you're going to sing this story to your neighbor. Amen? Okay. Amen? Amen. Amen. So it's very simple. So it goes like this. I went to the church the other day. I went to the church the other day. Somebody say, how you doing? I said, I'm blessed. Somebody say, how you doing? I said, I'm blessed. All right. That's very easy, right? Very simple, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Very, very easy. So I want you to sing. I want you to look at your neighbor from afar. Obviously, social distancing. Look at your neighbor. I want you to tell him this story. We're going to sing this together. I want you to say, I went to the church. Maybe we got to look at your neighbor. You got to look at your neighbor. Come on, come on. I went to the church. I went to the church. The other day. The other day. I went to the church. I went to the church. The other day. The other day. The other day. Somebody said. Somebody said. How you doing? How you doing? I said, I'm blessed. I said, I'm Somebody blessed. said, how you doing? How you doing? I said, I'm blessed. It's easy, right? Then the next part says this. I'm, I'm going to ask Josh, and Josh is going to yell it back to me. Right, Josh? How you doing? Oh, hold on. He can't hear him right now. <laughs> so he says, I'm blessed. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? And I'm going to ask all of you guys. How you doing? I'm blessed. How you doing? I'm blessed. How you doing? I'm blessed. That's it. You got the whole song. Very simple. So I need you to help me out singing it and clapping along with me. Amen. We're going to worship God together with this song. Amen? Amen. 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 I went to the church the other day. I went to the church the other day. Somebody said, how you doing? I said, I'm blessed. Somebody said, how you doing? I said, I'm blessed. I went to the church the other day. I went to the church the other day. The other day, somebody said, how you doing? I said, I'm blessed. Somebody said, how you doing? I said, I'm blessed. So how you doing? 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 I went to the church the other day. I went to the church the other day. Somebody say, how you doing? I said, I'm blessed. Somebody say, how you doing? I said, Father Vincent, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? 
I said, I'm blessed. Somebody said, how you doing? I said, look, just the ladies. How you doing? How you doing? Just the ladies. How you doing? 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 Just the fellas. How you doing? 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 so hard amen? amen it's not so hard to be blessed all right all right all right so now we know it you can do it you guys are catholic and you can praise the lord amen come on now good now we're gonna work together a little bit here with fernando and, and josh so you know in the scriptures tonight you hear three times the word father all right the first reading talks about god as our father He's a father. You, Lord, are our father. Right? Our redeemer, you are named forever. You, Lord, are our father, it says. We are the clay and you the potter. We are the work of your hands. My brothers and sisters, one of the deepest wounds in many human hearts is the wound of the father. So many of us carry that wound around, one way or another. Some, some aspect of our father. Was he there? Was he not there? Was he too harsh? Was he absent? Did he drink? Did he curse? Was he brutal? Was he soft? Many people carry around because there's no perfect father except in heaven. And many people struggle to know God as a father who loved his son, who gave his son as a gift because of this, this block. Tonight, I want us to remember that despite the struggles and pains that you may have grown up with with your own father, whatever the issues, maybe you were blessed, maybe you were really blessed to have him in your life and have a good father. Maybe not. Like many people, that's like a struggle in many people's lives. And if we don't have that right, if we don't ever see God as a good father, we're never going to get it. We're, we're going to be spinning our wheels spiritually all of our life. We may never actually get it. We may never quite understand this parable of the prodigal son who the father this old guy this old guy who's not supposed to be running in first century judaism he's not supposed to be running in long, long robes comes running no not just the son running to him but comes running comes running for his son to throw his arms around him and kiss him and his son has been a disaster a mess and unless you really get god as a good father we're never going to get our religion we're never going to get understand the love of God expressed in the person of Jesus Christ. And so tonight, the word of the Lord gives us this image of God as a good father. All right. So we want to now let us think of a song. It helps us think of God as a good father. I'm going to ask Fernando to help me out. And just think of our father. Think of the best father. Maybe you didn't have. Fernando, you can start kicking in a little bit here. Right? I'm going to just kind of speak with you, Fernando, while you pray. I'm going I'm to praise a little bit for a minute. I'm just going to turn with the people to God. I'm going to praise God for a minute because, Jesus, you came to us as the son of a good father. And, Lord Jesus, you know very well. You know very well that deep down in us, we're hurting, Lord. We are hurting. So many of our hurts have to deal with our fathers, Lord. And those fathers that, Jesus, somehow, their words hurt us. Since we've been little, we never forgave him. We never let it go. We've been holding on to it all of our lives. That one time when we were five, six, seven years old, and dad did what he did. And I've never forgiven him because I saw how bad he hurt my mom. I saw how bad she suffered. And I love my mom. So I didn't like my father for what he did to her, what he did to my sister, what he did to my brother, what he did to me. And I've held it against him ever since. And that's why I can't love God as a father. I carry that around 
and I don't know where it comes from. I don't even know how to deal with it. I don't know how to deal with the time that he didn't show up when I was expecting him. And I waited all night for him to show up, but he never showed up. And I've been holding that against him all my life. All my life. I don't even know why I treat girls bad and treat women bad if I'm a man in this house tonight. And maybe it's because my father didn't know how to treat my mom or my sister. And I don't even know why I went looking for love in all the wrong places, trying to find what I never got from my father, falling into the arms of men or boys when I grew up. If I'm a girl in this house tonight, if I'm a woman in this house that didn't have the love of the father that I should have had, I should have had a father who loved me. I should have had his love. My God, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I speak for those who are hurting for the missing father's love, for the father who hurt them, for the father who wasn't there for them. And they had to try to find that love in mother. And mom couldn't give both mother and the father's love. And then she suffered because she had to punish me and she had to correct me. And that should have been dad's role. And I couldn't find that caress and that love and that comfort in mom because she was trying to hold down two jobs and keep things going. And I don't even know. And I had all this upset anger in my heart. And where's my dad in my life when I need him, when I graduated, when I had my birthday, when, it, when I was take, going out on the first date and I needed advice and I didn't have it. I had to get it from my mom and not from my dad. My God, my God, too many hearts hurt here tonight. Too many wounded hearts in our church. Too many wounded hearts in our society. Too many kids who don't know the love of a good father. Father, you're going to have to break through tonight. You're going to have to break through some hard hearts tonight, Father. You're going to have to break down the barriers tonight, Father. You're going to have to show them that that is a lie. And that is Satan's lie. That you are not a good father. That is a lie from the liar, the murderer from the beginning. And we're not going to let him dominate our lives. We're going to come to love you. We're going to come to know you as a good father. Because you sent your son to die for us. And you suffered as a father. You watched your son suffer. You watched him die for us. You gave him up to be nailed for us. You love that kid. You love Jesus. And you gave him up for us because you're so good. You were willing to suffer that we didn't have to suffer. You were willing to lay your life down that we could go to heaven. You were willing to lay it all on the line and give up the most precious thing in your life because you are a good father. And if I could only understand that, if I could recognize I am loved by you, if I could recognize my, my mom is loved by you, if I could recognize my sister is loved by you, my brother is loved by you, even my dad who I have mixed feelings about is loved by you because you are a good father and you only know love. You only know Break through their hardness of heart tonight. Break through the misery of their past tonight. It no longer has to finish us because we will rise as you rose. We will rise. We will say one day we will see the glory and the splendor of God, our Father. Here you are good. And you are good. You're going to say it with me now tonight. And church, I'm going to ask you now to sing along with, with Fernando, our brother, because we're going to learn how to call him a good father. Because only when can we call him a good father can we begin to love Jesus Christ. perfect in all your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. Oh, you're perfect in all of your ways. Yeah. You are perfect in all of your ways to us. You're a good, good
good father. You're a good, good father. So you are. It's who 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 you are. And I'm loved by you. So I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You're a good, good father. So you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes and praise him now. You close your eyes tonight and you praise him. You praise this father. He speaks the truth. He speaks the truth to our pain. He's a good father. Don't believe the lie. Don't believe the lie. He's a good father, my brothers and sisters. You are perfect in all of your ways. He loves you in your misery. You are perfect. He loves you in your pain. He loves you in your mistakes, your failures. He comes running for you. He comes running for you to take you back home. There's nobody here tonight. You can run from that love. You are perfect in all of your ways. Perfect in all of your ways to us. Sing it out if you believe it. You're Sing a good, good father. You're a good, good father. Sing it now. It's who you are. Just Say the voices. Just the voices. Just the voices. It's who you are. Sing it to him. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. 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 You're say that again. You're a good, good. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. Tell them it's who you are. It's who you are. Oh, it's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. We're gonna take it down. We're gonna take it down now. We're gonna take it down. Keep the music going. Keep the, we take it low. Because this night, this night's going to be a little different. Father, let our words be true. Let us, let us praise you truly. Let it not be false tonight. Let it come from the heart tonight. Let this Eucharist be real. Let this be a deeper union with you, Father. Father, you gave a son. No, no love have a greater man than this. He laid down his life for his friends. To all those mothers and fathers out there who lay down their life every day when they get up, they lay down their life for their children. Sometimes the children don't appreciate it. They have resentments towards mom and dad. And they don't understand it. But one day they're going to understand when they're moms and dads and they understand what it is to get up early and lay your life down. To work like a dog. To do all you can. No one's perfect except the Father in Heaven. And these children today that missing from this church back at home that haven't been able to come back and experience the love of the Father in church. I grieve for them, Lord. I grieve for them. I desire for them to be held, to be held close to you. And you can go there right now. You come running for us. You can go right now to the homes of all the children, all the youth that are lonely, that are stuck on their phones. Their moms and dads are watching TV in their own rooms. And somehow you're going to come down and just embrace them right now. You just give that Father's love and just embrace Him so they know you're real. But if they're blessed enough to be in this church tonight, so right now I ask the moms and dads that have children with you, or your brothers and sisters or husbands and wives, just hold each other right now. Just, just give a hug right now. Because you're living in a family household. You don't have to keep six feet distance. You can hug your child. You can hug your child in church. You can hug your wife in church. You can hold your daughter in church. You can hold your spouse in church. You can hold your brother or sister just give each other, just, just give that hug right now. I invite, I invite you right now just to turn to your loved one, those that are here together. If they're not here together with anybody, just, just put your arms around you right now. Just put your arms around, because right now we're going to just allow the Father's love just to soak in, just to soak in. The moms and dads to the children, the children to the moms and dads, the brothers and sisters, the husbands and wives, because all that, that little glimpse of human love is just a little taste a little glimmer, a little glimmer of that beautiful fatherly love that he wishes to 
sent through this house tonight. So even if you're holding yourself, you can just imagine the, the good father holding you tight. Maybe the father you never had holding you close, holding you close, bringing you in, bringing you in. We're going to sing one more time. Embracing one another, we sing one more time. One You're last verse. Good, good father, so you are, so you are, so you are, and I'm loved by you, so I am, so I am, so I am. sorry for the times we never recognized your love, that we allowed our human relationships and our human fathers to get in the way of your love. Never again, Lord, never again. We invite you to just be our father this night. We invite you to, that we could renew that day of our baptism when we became your sons and daughters and you loved us the way that a newborn baby is loved by his mom and dad. That little girl born so precious those little eyes, that you always look upon us like a little precious infant. That you look on with those big eyes of a father and you just can't get over you. Every child, everyone, doesn't matter age or size, color or race, everyone is that little precious child to you. So I invite you, if you're listening here to my words, just to say this little prayer with me now as the music just keeps going in the background. I'm just going to say with me. You can just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I love you. I praise you. forgiveness for all the times I have not loved you I have not praised you I have not honored you I have not obeyed you all the sins of my past everything that has gotten between me and you Father I send to the foot of the cross and Satan and all of his demons can just sit at the foot of the cross and never again never again Jesus Never again, Heavenly Father, will I let anything get between me and you. I accept your love as a father. And this night, I declare that I am a beloved son. I am a beloved daughter of a good father. That I am loved by you. That you are my father. And you are good. And I take you as my father. And I ask you, Father, hold me. Hold me close. Keep me always in the palms of your hand. Keep me always on your breast. Keep me always in your loving heart. I thank you, Father. I praise you, Father. I adore you, Father. I love you, Father.
Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We humbly place our prayers before our compassion in God. For the church, held close by the shepherd of Israel, that all we be open to receiving God's merciful love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For all who are entrusted with positions of leadership, that they may govern with wisdom, prudence, and compassion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the sick and their families, friends, and caregivers, that they know God's healing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children of the world, that they will be safe, fed, housed, and loved, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this worshiping community, that we rose ourselves to cling to God this Advent, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions, and for all whom have asked for prayers, we pray for the repose of souls of Norberto Abreu, Ernesto de Regla Valles, Mitalina Garcia, and Nelson Landro. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Anne Rose Collins, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Be with us, loving Father. Aid our efforts, filled with faith, and waiting. Be with us as we read ourselves for your son's birth. We now remain standing for the blessing of the Advent wreath. Lord God, your church joyfully awaits the coming of its Savior, who enlightens our hearts and dispels the darkness and ignorance of sin. Pour forth your blessing upon us as we light the candles of this wreath. May their light reflect the splendor of Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Self away, I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away, I give myself. 
Sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, I set the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we may gathered among your gifts to us, and may what you grant to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, <clears throat> and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now do dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of oh.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, <clears throat> the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Anne Rose Collins. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 You know, when the apostles went to Jesus and they asked him, Master, how shall we pray? How are we supposed to pray? He gave a very simple reply. It's the prayer we pray in every Mass. Many people pray it throughout the day. He told God, was told to him to tell us that we're to call him Father, that we are to call God our Father. Today, you are calling God your Father. 
We reach out to him as a father who is a good father, who provides, who never fails. His love is always on time. It's always perfect. It's always right. It was before, it will be at the end, and it's right down the middle. The love of God is perfect. We're going to call on his love right now, together, praying as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And in the power of the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. You did it while heaven without us. So Jesus, you. Sin was great, your love was greater. What could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great, your love was greater. What could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a wonderful name it is. The name. Oh, Jesus, what a wonderful name it is, the name of
that lays it all out, leaves nothing back, holds nothing back, doesn't get tired, has no limits. Mercy that is infinite. Love that goes to the last drop, the last breath, suffers for the beloved, lays down his life for his family, for his bride, for his children. Receive tonight. loved by him. He is your father. You are his daughter. You are his son. Receive his love tonight.
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O oh Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk in passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Just a few announcements. Um, just grateful to you. I've never been able to say this in an announcement before. I'm grateful to the United States Supreme Court for that decision they made that uh, enables us not to be restricted to five, 25 or down to 10 if we go to a red zone, but we maintain. Thank God, in, in um, almost six months of being opened, we've, we've been able to protect our parishioners by doing all the protocols. Keep it up, everybody, but um, as we kind of inch forward in ways that we feel that we can do it, Emmanuel, it's great to have you serving. It's great to have our altar server back. Uh, we're uh, great to have a young adult monthly mass. And uh, next week, I will, next month, I want to mention it's going to move to um, a week earlier because of the, the way Christmas falls. Um, and uh, should say, uh, with these things, we move forward in, in, in the new year. Um, I want to share with everybody something that's been going on in, in my own life. Uh, you know, I was named, uh, along with Father Vincent, as the spiritual directors of the Corsillo movement a year and a half ago. Well, a year ago, I finally did my Corsillo retreat. While I was on retreat, I went to confession. It was something we do regularly. But the priest said, wait a minute, wait a minute. A word is coming to me. I was anxious to see what he was going to say. He said, a sabbatical. Hey, well, I don't have time to do a sabbatical. Well, a few weeks ago, it came up again um, in confession. And, and in fact, the priest gave me as a penance to look into it, to see if you can do that. So in a spirit of obedience, I moved forward. I contacted the, the vicar for clergy, Bishop Whalen. And uh, I said, you know, I, this came up twice in confession. I've, in fact, I'm doing this out of just doing my penance to see if this something could be done. I was amazed how encouraging he was. When I put something together, just as a proposal for like 11 weeks, um, he said, I'm gonna take this to the Cardinal tomorrow. Okay, took the Cardinal. I couldn't believe how encouraging the Cardinal was, but he wants me to do this. So um, starting in January, probably the first week of January, I'm gonna do three things. Uh, first, I'll do like a, I'm going to take time to study. I proposed to the Cardinal that I would study the preaching of St. Oscar Romero in the context of the documents of the church. The second part would be the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius of, of Loyola, which is 30 days. And the third part would be to walk the Camino of St. James. That's that pilgrim route in Spain where you start in various starting points and go to the northwest of Spain. Um, why would I do this? Uh, you know, and the, the argument, the, the thing that came to my mind is like, I'm 25 years almost as a priest. So you're chopping in a tree with an ax. And some you want to say like, I can't stop to sharpen the blade because I'm too busy chopping down this tree. It doesn't make sense. You have to stop, sharpen the blade, and it's a lot easier to chop down the tree. So I don't do this to abandon the people I love so much but rather um, to come back as a better priest, a holier priest, I hope, a, a priest more ready to serve. And um, I know I leave you in very good hands with Father Vincent. It's quite possible that another priest would be staying here for those 11 and a half weeks um, just to, to cover in the meantime. And uh, uh, I hope you'll pray for me as uh, starting in January, still a month away to do the sabbatical, but as soon as it came out on Monday, I, I resolved, I said, I want to tell you immediately. So please do pray for your pastor as he, back in, when 2021 comes, um, I'll start the sabbatical. However, I just want to add this one footnote, that if the pandemic, you know, explodes, we get a, a horrible spike, uh, I'm just going to call it off because um, 
I, I realize I have to make sure that my flock is cared for if something extreme happens. So just want to let you know this is what's happening and I ask for your prayers. Thank you so much. <clears throat> well, no, just two final words. Uh, I speak on behalf of the rectory, the clergy, Bishop Byrne, the bishops to say, Father, we fully support you and this desire for the Lord to bless you in the sabbatical. So. <clears throat> if you are a young adult, college age, 20s, 30s, um, please, you're all invited to go downstairs. There's some really good pasta. Um, Agnus Dei is going to go down and play some more music. Uh, Josh is going to come with a strong word tonight. He's going to be preaching, and there'll be some fellowship. So you're all welcome uh, for the young adults to come down and participate in that event afterward. Please stand. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.